Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to do the working with layers in Photoshop tutorial that's on your Edmodo link. So the first part of this kind of explains what layers are and how they work and that sort of thing. But I'm going to scroll down here and get started with this. You can read that at your leisure. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open Photoshop and go to create a new document. All right, so I'm going to go on here to Photoshop. I've already got it opened for so it's a little faster on the tutorial. So I go to File and I go to New. And then this dialog box comes up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this Steve's Layers. And of course, you would not use Steve. You would use your name. And then down here, this is a very important step here. Make sure you change the inches to pixels. Then you're going to go set it up to be 400 by 400 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. So if you go down here, this is 72. And this is 400 and this is 400 and then you say OK so now I've got a document that says Steve's layers so now we're gonna go through the tutorial so I can see the tutorial in the background so I can kinda keep it in the background and I can go down but whenever I click on it to go down it does take away my Photoshop so I'm gonna move it over here to the side a little bit close it make it a little smaller and then I'll bring my Photoshop guy here so I can click in between the two. Okay, so to fill the background, it says, so it says working with Photoshop. We're going to clear the background. We're going to use a hex number here. So the hex number is 36442A. So I'm going to highlight that and copy it. And then I'm going to go over here and your colors are down in this little toolbox right here so I'm going to click on the white one and then I'm going to paste I'm going to paste that hex number in there so this gives me a kind of a uh, forest green or a hunter green or something of that color and then I say OK and now this color is chosen here then the way I fill it is I can do the fill tool from the toolbox which is right here and if you click on any tool in here, it'll give you all the stuff below. So if, sometimes it's the gradient tool, or sometimes it's the bucket tool. So anyway, it's the fill tool. So now at this time, I'm going to go File, Save. And this should go straight to your Documents folder like this. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Well, actually, I'm going to save it as a Photoshop document, not a JPEG. So make sure it says steveslayers.psd. And I'm going to save that so I don't lose any of my work. So every time I do something, I like to save the work. Okay, so now I'm going to go down and create a new layer. So there's a several ways to create a new layer. So I'm going to click on here. You can go up to Layer and go New Layer. You can click on the Layer box, which is right over here, or Layer Palette, I should call it. Let's put it over here closer. And you can click here and go New Layer. Or you can go down here and down here at the bottom, create a new layer. So I'm going to click there and create a new layer. Now the first layer is called um, <clears throat> layer one. But if I want to change that, I can click the layer one here and I can name it. So I'm going to name the first layer grass because that's what they're going to put on here in a second. Okay, so now I've got my grass as my layer and that sort of thing. And I'm going to go down to this and I'm going to draw the grass. Now, um, I think they kind of skip a step here. So I'm going to go here and tell you this. Hit this little button right here that um, creates a white and black so that when we draw our grass, it will be drawn that way. So I'm going to click on my grass layer. Then I'm going to get my brush tool. My brush tool is right here. Click and hold. I want the brush tool. I'm going to go up here at the top and I'm going to click on this little guy right here. And I always have a lot of weird brushes in here, so I'm going to preset my brushes real quick. So that it'll be more like what you have. Okay, so here's the brushes. So what I want to do is I want to go down here to 112, and I click on that. Then I go back to my layer, and I like the size there, but I can always make it bigger if I want. I can go a little bigger, a little smaller. I'll just go right there. And... I just simply, making sure I'm on my grass layer, I just simply draw the grass. 
And mine's black and white because that's the two colors I chose. You could always choose different colors here. Like you could go in here and choose a yellow like this, and then it would draw that color. Okay, so anyway, I've got all this grass in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to type something there. So I get the type tool, click here, and I simply draw a box with the type tool here and it automatically creates a type layer. And then I'm going to say grass, I like this, and you can change what kind of uh, font you want. So you can choose a different font if you want. I'm just going to choose Helvetica Condensed real quick. And then you can make it larger by clicking here and going down like 60. Maybe that's a little too big or I have to make my text box a little bigger. I'll make it smaller then. I'll go 48. There we go. Okay, so there's my uh, font. And again, I can change the color of the, of the text if I want by going like this. Oops, I have to highlight it. And then I can change the text color by this if I want. So I'll get a little different green there. And it just depends. Now, if you want to move something around, click on your Move tool so you can move it up and down and around and stuff like that. So I'm going to set it right there for now. So what I've done is um, they, you know, they got a thing to set your font to weight bold and that sort of thing. Okay, as you can see, the tool type has a new layer and so on. So I'm going down and then now I can move the layers. And that's what's cool about Photoshop. You can take this and I can pull it down here. And right now it's in front of the grass. But if I move it in my palette, my layers palette, it goes behind the grass. Do you see that? And so you can, you know, move the layers back and forth and that sort of thing. So I'm going to put it kind of down here so it's hanging out a little bit in the grass. Now I'm going to go down here and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a blending mode or, or filling sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. So again, there's multiple ways to create a new layer, but I'm going to use this little button right here. And so I create a new layer, ellipse tool, which is right here. And then if you hold the option key and the shift key down at the same time, you draw it out, it'll draw a perfect little circle like that. If you let go of the shift, then it can go oval and so on like that. So now I've got um, an ellipse there. So now I'm going to fill it with white on my new layer. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to click this button here and then switch them. And now I'm going to click on the white. I got the white, I don't know why I click on it. Then I'm going to get my paint bucket and I'm going to fill that selection with white. So now my layer, I'm going to call this circle one. I think we make two circles here. And you don't have to name your layer, it just makes it easier for you as you go along. Now I'm going to go up here and select, oh actually I'm going to wait and see what they say. Uh, set this layer to blending mode to overlay. So the blending mode is right here in your layers palette. So it says to do it to overlay. And what that does is that allows some of the green to show through in the white. Okay. And let's see, going down here. Oh, and drop the opacity down to 15 to 20, which makes it a little darker and so on. So I'll just go, I think they said 20, 15 to 20, so I'll go 20. Okay, so now I'm going to go down and the next thing I'm going to do is duplico, duplicate layer. And I'll call this, instead of circle two, one copy, I'll call this circle two and say okay. And now what I have is two, two layers to circle. So I'm going to deselect real quick like that and I'm going to get my move tool and depending on which layer I'm on, I'm going to move my other circle like that. Okay, so now I can see the top circle through there and, and so on. And again, if I want this to be above the grass, I can put it above it or I can move it down here below the grass. And if I go down, it'll hide it and so on like that. So what I've got now is um, my layers and the layer, the word grass is green, or you can have the word layers there, it just depends on what you want, and so on. One last little thing I can show you is I can make the size of those bigger or smaller by going transform and scale, or click on the layer I want, like I want the words grass is green, and go command T, and then I can make my grass is green text just a little bigger, and then double click on it so that I can 
like that. So there's how to do the tutorial layers. Except, let me see, there's one other thing. Um, they wanted to make it look like a folder. So they want to group everything in the folder. Um, so we can go down here. I think it's this folder right here. It says new group. And I can drag things into the group. And so if everything's in the group, then I've got like everything packed away like that. Then I'm going to definitely go File, Save, and say OK. And there I've saved it as a PSD, so that way I can mess with the layers. But to upload it or put it somewhere, I'm going to go File, Save As, and save it as a JPEG. And this, what this does is flattens it, but then it gives me two copies. And make sure when this comes up, you go all the way out to maximum and save it there. So there's how to do the first tutorial for today.